You can't believe it was that green. That was the one. It is huge. He kind of got it cleaned up and it's 10 a.m. I know, he starts early. A little earlier than we do. Hey y'all, I'm Holland Roden and this is my van, Holland Days. The quarantine in 2020 had me questioning how I can live my life with more intention. So I took the plunge and a dream I've had for years. You did it, guys. Packed my bags in the entertainment industry in Los Angeles, bought a van, and I am self-converting it in Wisconsin with no building experience. But a builder, an engineer, my new friend Steve Mivas is here to definitely help us along the way. Coffee, right. ball, shower, that will last all of five seconds. <laughs> Today we have got a huge week. Mike and Carrie left this weekend and we almost finished the headliner for the front as well as little odds and ends. I'm getting a lot better at jigsawing, so that's really cool. Jigsawing wood is, I would say it's probably equally, maybe slightly easier. No, sorry, slightly harder than the metal just because you can have different thicknesses and the thicker it is, the harder it is. That's what she said, that's what she said, that's what she said. But I can confidently say on, what is this, like week, Technically four, but I think with videos it'll probably be like week eight. I am finally comfortable on the jigsaw. Let's see if Steve's up. Steve? Hey. He's up. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Say hi guys. Hi. Say hi Mike. Hi. Mike's helping us out with the videos. He's teaching me Premiere and yeah. Good old Monday morning, we're about to get started. <laughs> Round two. Basically the problem is, is we do not have an electric caulk gun that can get that thick bead of caulk like they do and see those beautiful suction cups. We were using these. What gave me a black eye? Like week two. So we thought we were good on the passenger side last time they were here. We only had a problem with the driver's side leaking, or not even leaking, being a massive gap. Next rainstorm hit, and sure enough, we had leakage in the passenger side. So, considering we've done a lot of homemade projects here, um, just Steve and I, with obviously the help of Mike and Carrie occasionally, I'll take this as our only mistake. It's pretty good. It's basically because of equipment that we couldn't do this properly, and Steve wanted another try. I was like, no, we don't have time. We're calling complete auto class again. I'm cutting my first piece of wood as far as like a full shape goes. Um, like a mitered, a table sod, straight edges, but I do an upside down, non-symmetrical trapezoid. So I've taken a little picture. We drew on the subfloor. Steve, is this about the over dimension? We didn't measure this side. I like every angle figured out, and he's like, nah, you only do two sides and let the third side figure it out. It's weird. I was telling Steve that Mike Doe, his best friend, that you've obviously met already, he's like the bunny hill instructor that stays on the bunny hill the whole time with the kids and is like, get in the blue line, guys! And uh, Steve's like for the big kids that are already on the ski team, and he's like, okay, uh, everybody here, it looks like it. Okay, hold on tight, guys. It's going to be a powder day and uh, cut in. Let's go. Let's have some fun. Like, that's all he'll do. And I feel bad for him because he has a Bunny Hill client. Because whenever Mike's here, he's super excited to teach me. And um, he, he enjoys it. And, and I bored Steve. I has to teach me. He's like, <sighs> he's just from I a, enjoy it. I'm just balancing doing things with teaching. And maybe I'm just not the best yeah, at balancing no, he, he's things. A, he's a better advanced teacher than a beginner teacher. And the poor guy is stuck with a Bunny Hill student. All right. 
remember how to do this? No. It's not even, and my first angled miter cut. Well, my first miter cut. Miter isn't means angle, so very exciting. All right, next next step. Today, it's a drawer afternoon, so to speak, because it's a sustaining morning. And so I just measure this side and this side with the bottom and the front of the drawer base. The sides sit on the bottom half, so it makes the front even smaller than the bottom of the length of the bottom of the drawer. On the wall paneling, Steve had to take over this side of the wall because. Take over. The front half. Up there? Yes. Oh, yeah. And the back half is just too specialized um, because every cut's a special cut essentially, which is above my wood shop level. So if you guys are doing a very novice, easy van build, don't get flares. That causes a nightmare, which is what I did. But with flares, you can sleep sideways. So there are perks. <laughs> So, this entire thing is 20 inches with a half inch plywood that's sitting on the bottom of this 20.5. So then that thing becomes 19.5, which means that's the exposed part of the bottom of the shelf. Thus, the front and the back that actually sit up would be 19.5. Um, I'm gonna start with the bottom and I'm gonna do a 20 by 24. Well, 20 inch by 24 inches is my first piece. Your bottom piece is 20 by 24, yep. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have three pieces, 24 inches long, mm -hmm. right? Two sides and one bottom. You mm -hmm. cut it off the end of the sheet. So what you'll do is with a full four by eight sheet, you'll come in 24 inches, mm -hmm. you cut all the way across, mm -hmm. and then you can cut a 20 inch piece and two 11 inch pieces out of that and you'll end up with two inches left over. So that's very good So a four use by two and wood. then you do that, okay. It's a four by two piece, four foot by two feet. And then we're gonna, the 20 and the 11 and the 11, we need it over here. Where do we need that? We need it for uh, the bottom panel. And then we need it for the two sides. Measure in 24 from the end okay. plus Five and Plus nine five and nine sixteenths. Got it. Okay. This is so exciting. I am actually learning how to cut real wood. We go for one thousand here, which is a very tiny, tiny difference. One thousand? I never said that. Yeah. That's what All we're right. going for. Looks good. It's bigger than it looks. No, it's not. It's a little nick. See, it's not bad. It's a thick it's nick. It's a little, though. no, it's a little skin thick. flake. We're under a 
tarp, but the tarp has holes. Two more cuts that are 11 inches each. This 20. Once we make our second cut of 11, there'll be two inches on the remaining piece of wood we have. for the different saws or measure for the fence in addition to what you're measuring on your wood. So it's um, it's really cool to see from, from beginning to end. I spent a lot of time getting this detail figured out here. This is kind of the end termination of uh, this bed area. So it's a little divider panel. There'll be a little um, like false wall right here. And then up here, there's a shelf that comes out uh, kind of like a floating shelf. It's not the prettiest, but again, there's paneling kind of coming over this portion of it and this portion of it. And you know, this is just got yeah, only a little bit that's gonna be visible over here. It's more of a structural support and break. So um, got that done, back onto this paneling now. That's coming along fairly quickly, a lot faster than the first side. And um, I feel like I'm finally making some real progress again. Slice with me. Let's go. So we're gonna test some lights of the position of them. So you'll see up there. Whoop. Where is it? There it is. We gotta see where we're positioned. So. Yeah, you can't see those. Not in front of me. Not in front of me? That is a huge tree. Do you have me? Come on, come here. Here. Here, I'll do you. I can't get it, it's too heavy. You can't get it. has gotta get it because it's too heavy. He was just wandering around outside in the rainstorm. All right, I'm headed back hey, out. Gib, Gib, have you seen a tree that big? I can go look at the tree. So have you Watch seen one out for that the lightning. Big? Watch out. Well, you know, someone was hit the other day by lightning, but he was by a single tree in the middle of the field. It hit like right. I mean, what? There was, was a something within like yeah, 200, 200 feet. 200 feet. Or there was like, there was zero you think notice. Safe in here. Okay. All right, four and a half. 37, 7, All right. That's a twice cut once, right? Gotta, gotta keep on moving on, keep on going, keep on moving on. Gotta stay up to the morning, keep on moving on. The wind is blowing, keep on moving on. Gotta make it to the white forest. I think that went well. We'll find out. I don't know how we're gonna keep this thing in here. 
Let's just put a bunch of glue on it and hope it sticks. My hand in yours as we walk this adventure in love. Damn. This is a tedious process. I'm curious now how most people do this. I didn't really uh, look it up or anything. <laughs> Just kind of figured we'd figure it out. That's how most of a van build is. Just gotta kind of get in there and figure it out. Yep. Another day, another stain. So today, it's an ambitious schedule. Steve was kind enough to do one poly of this last night, one uh, layer of stain, so then we're gonna do the other layer today. He also made this for the garage space. Look at this guy. Kinda looks like a dado, but it's not. It's a table saw four different times. I'm trying to convince him to do this on the shelf as well, but he said it's unnecessary, i.e. meaning a design situation, which is not necessary, but I kind of want to do it. I think this would be cute for the for the rail of the shelf. And that's kind of my graduating wood chop project to do by myself. I'm gonna poly this, poly the thing behind me, and then we're gonna get down the other garage drawer that's technically inside the van, as well as the bike small bike drawer as well. And then finish the last two sides of my five side drawer today since there's no rain. It's beautiful outside. Measured, drawn, marked, and cut. And taught, that's like a one thou right there. So the trick that Carrie taught me, thank you Carrie, Carrie Doe, is that to make a turn, you have to back up, go forward, back up, go a little bit left, go back up, go a little bit more left, go back up, go a little bit more left. So that is what I'm gonna try and do with this so I can have a curved radius. It's not amazing, but it's not terrible. Nice. All right, I like it. Yep, wow. Yep. Construction of these things sucks. This is a hard thing to do. Hey, Especially man. if you've never really used a nail gun before. Never. Well, 
shot one through the side. Let's see if I got any on the inside. Hopefully not. Oops. Okay, inside looks good though. That's the important part. Well, I did about 10% of that. You cut them all? Steve did the rest. But didn't make my first drawer. You basically made your first drawer. I basically made. Basically. I have so much respect. I mean, I had respect before, but now it's like a whole new level. Of respect. Did you get one? Oh. Yeah, I got one. Oh, you got one? I did. It's hard. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Nope, bike. No, spiteful. No, it's okay. It's okay. That's a drawer. That's a drawer. This is the first week where it actually starts to feel like a home. I start to see the walls come together with the drawers. Next week, I'm officially in wood shop. I actually feel like a builder. Can't wait for you guys to see it. Y'all come back and I'll see you later. You like Fightful, you like Hollandaise? Subscribe to our channel. Hit that like button. Get that notification bell going so you'll get new videos every single week, which is every Sunday.